there is at least one person high up the ECOWAS food chain who is very busy doing APRC and PP's political bidding. It is either that or one or two people high up in ECOWAS are doing all that they can to stay relevant in the eyes of their APRC and PP benefactors. Either proposition is beneath the office of an institution that is meant to foster peace, security and development for Africans. Why else do you think an institution of ECOWAS stature found it necessary to congratulate the APRC NPP government for the perfunctory task of gazetting a doctored draft constitution? Congratulating the APRC NPP government for gazetting their doctored draft constitution is akin to congratulating a thief who returned 50% of the items he stole. ECOWAS with their tongue-in-cheek press release, goes on to make the grand revelation that no constitution is perfect. Wow, we didn't know that. I can't help but wonder what they think is imperfect about this APRC NPP doctored draft constitution. Is it the manipulation of the document in such a way that it allows Adam Abaro to lord over Gambians for two decades? Or is it the portions that practically encourage corruption by disavowing accountability? Or maybe it is the various sections that allow Adam Abaro to be a fashionable authoritarian who can claim democracy because the people voted for him. I wonder what ECOWAS thinks is imperfect about this draft constitution. I am yet to find a statement that ECOWAS issued when Adam Abaro and his APRC NPP rejected the draft constitution that reflected the voice of the Gambian people. Their main contention was that the draft constitution discriminated against Adam Abaro, as if laws do not always discriminate against others by ensuring certain people do not have their way. For an institution that claims to be for the people, that should have been the moment they stood by the people and revealed to Adam Abaro that no constitution is perfect. But no. Whoever is doing the APRC NPP bidding at ECOWAS has interests to protect, and it certainly is in the people's interest. Then with naked disingenuity, ECOWAS congratulated all the stakeholders as if they did not know that the only stakeholders in this secretly drafted constitution are the APRC NPP political parties, those they benefit in government. The spinelessness and duplicity of ECOWAS are only matched by their delusions of grandeur. From comical and empty threats against former member states to congratulating a government going against the wishes of its people, it's a shame. The people deserve better. Where are the members of the Constitutional Review Commission? All right. I know the Constitutional Review Commission has long ceased to exist as a body. But most of those who were part of it are still alive. So if you were part of the Constitutional Review Commission or played any role in the development of the torpedoed draft constitution, unless you approve of this new NPP APRC draft constitution, your silence on it is noteworthy. If you truly believed in the ideals of the original draft constitution, you must not remain silent and watch the NPP APRC force their will on the people. You went around and spoke to Gambians of all walks of life. The people gave you a mandate and you did your best to represent their voices in the draft constitution. This new NPP APRC draft constitution does not reflect the voices of the people, especially given that the people were never consulted on it. If you truly believe in the rule of law as you claim, and you truly believe that the people's will has been aborted by the NPP APRC gang, you have a duty to say something. Preserving your personal connections to government officials or protecting your personal interests should never supplant your duty to speak against a violation of the people's collective voice. I hope to hear you, and so do many Gambians.